Okay, we're going to look at creating a new tagging project. Um, tagging is a way of the setting reference points in a large video clip so you can then filter those reference points um, and look at only those uh, objects that you want to look at. Um, so what we're going to do here is go to create a new tagging project. I've dragged across a volleyball match here um, and we're going to do a, a tagging project for that volleyball match. So we'll create a new tagging project. We could use one of the templates here um, that they have already, um, but just to show you how to create the project, we'll, we'll use a blank one. Okay. So, this is your tagging editor. What you have is you have events, either a single event that lasts a certain length of time, or a continuous event that has is a, is a start and a stop. You then have values that you can add to that event. So what I'm going to do is, on one tab, I'm going to put a few events in, and then on another tab, I'm going to put values in. The reason I'm doing them in two different tabs is that when we click on one event, I want it to automatically bring up the second tab so we then choose what the value is for that event. Hopefully that will become clear as we go through. So all I'm going to do is drag across four different events here onto our first tab. And then onto our second tab, we're going to add two values. And then we'll go to edit these. So if we're doing a volleyball match, let's say the first event, we can do is a serve. Now where it says here label, we can change this to serve here. And you'll notice up here in the box it changes to serve. We can put a shortcut in so that we don't have to click the screen every time. We can actually just push a button instead. So we'll make it number one. Now what we want to do is this area here that says trigger. If we click on the buttons down the corner here. This means that when we push the serve button, we can make it bring up one of these windows. And we want it to bring up property page one, the untitled tab, because that's our tab that's going to have our values on it. And again, I'll carry on with these. So we're going to have a set in here. And we're going to put Again, the trigger of that tab there. I'll put a shortcut key of number two. And you notice here as well, you've got pre-roll and you've got duration. Duration is the length of time of the event. So if it's something that you think will be covered within 10 seconds, that's fine. If it's a longer thing, you'd have to change the time. Pre-roll is really to do with your reaction time. So if you want to... Um, you know, push the button, uh, the, the event that you, you've set up, it'll roll back five seconds before that button's pushed, and that'll be a reference point. So it gives you that little bit of time. Okay, so we'll do the next ones here. So change that to dig, and add a shortcut key of number three, and we'll add the trigger again to that tab that has our values on it. And our last button we'll say is a spike. Again, shortcut key of number four. And we've got the trigger here onto our second tab. Okay. And for our values, we're just going to put on whether it's successful or not. So, Here's our first value and our second value. Now what I wanted to do here as well is after the successful uh, and unsuccessful value, I wanted to go back to the first tab so we then have another event occurring. So we have the trigger on this one being property page zero, which is our first property page. Okay, and that is us set up our very basic tagging. And if you look at the next video, I'm going to tag this video clip with this tagging panel.